Watch Mitchell Dillman steal and woodworking on Amazon Fire TV. This episode brought to you by Cannibal Professional Nibbler and TrickTools.com. Hey, if you were watching last week's video, you got to see how we made this standing bar table. In today's video, I'm going to show you how we design and make a matching set of bar stools. So just like last time, we're going to set up, start with a simple drawing, get our rough dimensions so we know where we're headed. Since we've got our table set up at a standard 42 inch bar height, we know that our bar stools are going to be 30 inches, that's 12 inches shy. Alright, so we're going to make this stool similar but different than that table. For the main frame, we're going to use this 3 16 plate. I've got 16 gauge, 2 inch tubing for the legs. We'll skin the whole thing out with our 18 gauge sheet metal. Last but not least, we'll have a 6 inch swivel plate between the frame and our seat. And then of course we'll have the uh, adjustable feet on the legs. I think that's about it. Let's get started. So you can see we've got everything cut. We cut the 3 16 down to 8x8. Eight eight. We've pre-drilled our caps for our adjustable feet. We've got two swivels set up and ready to go. And we've taken time to cut our legs. Two inch tubing. We cut it a little long so that we can come over here and work off this mock-up to get the exact angle. Let's go to work. dead on because of the tiny little marks, but it's it's going to be pretty darn close.
All right, we got our swivel on. Let's head out there and do the woodwork for our seat. All right, so these are standard hike bar stools. They're gonna be 30 inches from the floor to the seat by the time we add the adjustable feet and the two inch seat that we've just made over there. So we need a foot rest and typically the foot rest is gonna be at 16 inches down. So we've got a mark. We're gonna use up a piece of our scrap, the, the cutoff piece from our legs and fashion a cool foot rest right there. Let's do it. First thing we need to do is cap these ends. So I'm just gonna mark this out. Alright, so the next thing we want to do is set this down here and get it marked out so that we get these angles just right. I'm just going to use this box, set this here and line it up with the edge, mark it out. Broncos, man. Before we put on those tops, we want to take a minute and put on these adjustable feet. So let's get over here and see what this is going to look like. Take a look. Oh man, that's that's nice. There you go. That's our modern rustic metal art furniture. Get in here and try this out. This is perfect. Appreciate you taking time to watch. Be sure to click subscribe. Come back this same time next week. I'm gonna show you how we use up a lot of the scrap we have left from this job to make some cool little decorative art pieces. Thanks for watching. We'll see you then. Be sure to go check out our sponsors at Cannibal Professional Nibbler and TrickTools.com.